I paid almost $200 for this product. I've got this series on my channel in which I create fake products. And I always think that I'm original, but then I moved to America. I went to an American supermarket for the first time. I had a look around the products and I'm speechless. I cannot believe that any of these products are real, but you can buy them at any supermarket in America. When I tell you I was speechless when I saw that this is something that you can buy Cheetos Flaming Hot mac and cheese. And clearly it is so popular that they also make it in different flavors. Then I also saw this. So in America, Cheetos also makes this pasta that is in like a little container, like kind of like an instant noodle. This is the flaming hot version and this is the design of it. And they also make a cheesy flavor. I want you guys to please look at this, look at the design of the lid. Let's pull the receipts. On my fake product series, I've created this. I have created this product and I'm being 100% honest, I had never seen it. I think I might have created this first. This probably already existed, but I truly had never seen this. And I do a lot of research for my videos and the design of it is very similar to what I created. Have I been scammed? Is that even what scamming means? Anyways. These look too good to be mad for too long. <laughs> I honestly could not believe that these products are real. I was mad that they ripped me off, but you know, maybe I ripped them off. So we're gonna do the Flaming Hot first because this is the one that I've invented and that I've been ripped off. Let's see. I literally made this. Okay, so it's got the flavor on top. So mine was a little bit different when I made this product. I had a little container. Oh, and I think I used noodles instead of this pasta shape, but still pasta. And all you do is literally add water. That's all you need to add to this. So I'm gonna add the water to it. Okay, this is boiling hot, so I really need to watch out. Okay, this is kind of done to the line. And this is the other flavor. Oh, this one came broken. Wow, now I'm suing them for two different reasons. I'm not sure if it needs to be hot water. I think this would be fine with just regular cold water because it's gonna be microwaved anyways. So once you've done this, we're gonna microwave this for three minutes and there's no need to add butter, nothing else. It's pretty genius product. I mean, I'm not surprised. When you copy your homework from the best student in class and the best student gets a D. So I'm gonna microwave this. So here we've got the noodles fresh off the microwave and you know what? They do cook in exactly three minutes. It's pretty impressive. Let's have a look. It's not even all dented. This is like fully cooked. You don't need a dent <laughs> to bite into these. This is when it gets fun. So this is the flaming hot flavor. That is literally the same color of the one I made. We need to actually do side-by-side -side footage. <gasps> Maybe not. The one I made was literally this exact same color. So we're gonna mix this, which is what it says on the instructions. Like it is that artificial red that I said the product should be. I mean, I'm sure this was invented before. Me when I'm trying to be a good person. So there we go. When you're done, this is kind of what you get, like artificial red, flaming hot noodles. I mean, it looks really good. It was really, really quick and easy to make. And it looks exactly like the ones I made, except I think I used ramen noodles. This is the cheesy flavor. So I'm expecting this one to be radioactive yellow. So we're gonna add the seasoning, some of it on the table. How can this look so good without butter, cream, milk? It's all in the powder, I guess. It's exactly what I would expect from this product, like an artificial radioactive yellow situation. They are spicy, but they don't have much flavor other than being spicy. There's like sweetness, maybe savoriness missing in here. Like something is missing. It's giving noodles cooked in water and then someone opened a packet of flaming hot cheetos three floors below you it is spicy it's very spicy the idea is obviously good because it was created by a genius <laughs> i'm a little bit disappointed i feel like it wasn't fully taken there you needed something in here maybe butter maybe cream maybe both so this is the cheesy one i think the cheesy ones are going to work out a lot better because i think this is a better flavor yeah Oh my god, that's so good. That is so much better.
I feel like they really nail like that artificial cheesy flavor. It doesn't really need like spiciness or anything. It's like the perfect artificial cheese. This one is an easy 8 out of 10. The other one is like a 3 out of 10. The texture of noodles, the flavor of water. <laughs> Go for it if you love H2O. Um, I refuse to believe that the cookie section in American supermarkets is real. It's something that belongs in a dream or a nightmare. These are Oreos firework flavor. <laughs> when someone asks me what's my favorite Oreo, I always say, firework. Firework. <laughs> It is a limited edition, I am not surprised. So I think these are like, are these 4th of July Oreos? I don't think so. I don't even know how this comes into existence. So, I know you guys love the opening shots. I forgot to mention, these are made with popping candy. That's what makes it the firework flavor. It's when you're biting into the Oreo, it's got popping candy inside. America is a real country with real products. I'll never get used to this. Oh my God. I can smell it already, and it smells like Oreos. It looks like a regular Oreo. Interesting, maybe slightly, they're a little bit taller than a regular Oreo, but very, very similar to a regular Oreo. I think you can kind of see the popping candy. From afar, they look completely regular. Once you really get in there to sniff them, <laughs> you can kind of see the blue and red popping candy. Is it gonna pop? <laughs> Let's find out. I think Oreo has a lot of criticism. They do really exciting packages, but then inside it's just always a regular Oreo. They don't stick very well, look. Like, I know it's always easy to peel off an Oreo, but this is like next level. Me when I see a new flavor of Oreos. My bottom teeth rotting from the Oreos. They smell like regular Oreos, nothing suspicious about it. You could bring a drug sniffing dog and they would think this is a regular Oreo, but apparently it's not. But I'm kind of just interested in the actual popping candy, the firework aspect of it all. If there's popping candy in here, I'm gonna give you the ASMR of it. I can kind of hear it. Wait, I can definitely hear it now. I think that was my stomach. Wait, I don't know if I can hear it or not. I think I can. There's not a whole lot of popping candy and it's completely flavorless. So it's just an Oreo with sound effects. Let me see if I can give you an ASMR of it. Okay, so I'm gonna bite into this. It almost pops more once you swallow the cookie, like, I don't know where it's coming from. My esophagus. Did I just make that up? <laughs> that body part. I'm disappointed in the flavor because it's just a regular Oreo in terms of flavor, but I'm gonna bite into the full thing. The crunchiness on the outside defeats the purpose of the popping because it's just an Oreo, a plain Oreo. I wasn't expecting, but actually when you bite into the full cookie, that's when you hear most of the popping candy. I think this is a really fun idea. I would give this like a seven out of 10. I would never buy this regularly because it's just a more expensive Oreo that tastes exactly the same, but there's something fun about it. I would have come up with this product. I will come up with some popping candy products from, from now on. Popping candy ramen noodles. That would be interesting. I should be using gloves right now to handle this because I paid almost $200 for this product. This is a Ritz Oreo collaboration. If I keep this, this will be worth like 20,000 in 10 years. If I open it, this is gonna be worth nothing. Let's dive in. This is like the official one. Like I know a lot of people were like trying to get this because they only made like a few hundred of these, so this is extremely rare. I saw an advert for this collaboration on TV and immediately I thought this is a great product for this video because this doesn't look real. Like peanut butter, Oreo, Ritz cracker. It looks like something that I would make. Immediately I knew that I wanted this for the video. I joined the queue to buy this product and I didn't get it. So the only option was to go on eBay and at that point, I made it my life mission to buy it that I just spent a ridiculous amount on this. I hope this is worth every cent. We need like mysterious music playing. 
Oh man, I shouldn't really eat this. This is gonna be worth like 10,000 in a few years. The snack you didn't know you were waiting for. Are you salty or are you sweet? After how much I paid for this, it's towards salty. <laughs> I should be using gloves for this. I can probably still sell the packaging and make my money back. So it comes with a little QR code and uh, a little cute little message thingy. And this is the actual cookies. They're not broken. Oh my God, this would be worth even more than, than you would think. They're in little capsules inside. The moment I open this, I will never be able to get my money back. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. I'm like crying on the inside. I knew a lot of people wanted to get this product. I'm gonna do my best. I try to give you the full experience through video. So this is the official collaboration between Oreo and Ritz crackers. That's like $33 down the drain. These look so interesting. Let me give you the smell of it. <sighs> Peanut butter, Oreo cookie. Wow, surprisingly simple. Okay, so this is it. Should we just bite into it the way it is? Or like, should we just deconstruct it already? Or should we go full sociopath and just start to tear it apart? Oh, I broke it. Let's just try the full thing. Um, this does not belong together. This tastes not worth how much I paid for this. I feel like such a clown. Do it like a full face clown makeup on me right now. I'm so embarrassed that this is not on camera for the rest of my life. This is not what I was promised. Are you salty or sweet? Neither. I'm $200 poorer. The first thing you get is the crunchiness of the Oreo is different than the crunchiness of the Ritz because the Ritz is like flakier. So texture, horrible. Like zero out of 10 from the first bite. The flavor of the peanut butter overtakes the Ritz and the Oreo, which makes this just taste like the worst texture. And the only flavor you're getting is peanut butter with maybe a tiny little hint of Oreo in it. Someone right now is getting paid a couple million a year in some marketing team for Oreo, watching this video, wiping their tears with $50 bills, and somehow I deserve every bit of this. I don't say this often, this is truly a zero out of 10. Truly horrible. When I saw these, I knew I wanted to buy them. These are Chips Ahoy cookies filled with fudge, with Hershey's chocolate fudge. It truly really seems like something that I would come up with. They would never see the day of light, this idea in any other country, but welcome to America, I guess. They smell incredible, like soft baked cookies. And this is really surprising. They just look like regular cookies. They're not even, particularly big for the fact that they're filled on the inside. I would think this is just a regular cookie. So on the inside, I'm gonna be honest and say that on the image, on the package, this looks like there's gonna be way more filling and it's just a little whisper of chocolate. This is not that. <laughs> Let me do a side by side so you guys can see what I was promised and what I received. I'm sorry, but these are not the same. I will be honest and say, these smell like incredible. Like they actually almost smell like homemade cookies. It might be that they taste really good and it's gonna be worth it. It's pretty good. It tastes like an um, uncooked cookie. It's really weird. I was expecting a giant cookie. I got this that barely fits. It's literally like a miniature cookie. I was expecting a dense, fudge on the inside and I got whatever this is. So I was a little bit disappointed. They still taste okay. This is like a four out of 10 kind of cookie. Would never buy this again. It's literally all about the branding. They don't actually deliver. A collaboration between Chips Ahoy and Reese's peanut butter cups. But one thing that it is interesting about this is there's actual pieces of Reese's on the cookie. Like they're promising you an actual 
chunk. I really hope these don't disappoint. Okay, why are these so much bigger than the other ones when these actually could be smaller? These look so good. These look incredible. Presentation, 10 out of 10. I just hope they actually have pieces of Reese's. That just looks like a regular cookie. Like, I am not seeing pieces of Reese's. I'm barely seeing pieces of chocolate on it. I keep looking for actual pieces of Reese's the same way I was promised actual chunks. These are not like chunks of Reese's in the way that I was promised. Why do I believe Chips Ahoy labels? They're lying. These are lies. Once again, C for C in court. It tastes good. <laughs> But like, there's barely any Reese's in it. Like I had one bite and now it's just a Chips Ahoy cookie. Actually a very dry cookie now. This is not worth any of it. I don't know if you can see, but here on the very top, that's a piece of Reese's here. This one does look like the image on the package. And even then, this is very, very disappointing. When you get an actual chunk, it's so good, but then the rest of the cookie is just a plain Chips Ahoy cookie that costs three times more. I am whelmed, just whelmed. The ice cream section in America. Where do I start? Some will not believe me, but I swear that this is a real product that I've bought. This is Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Ice Cream. It is literally mac and cheese flavored ice cream. It's like an official Kraft product. It says in here that it's French ice cream. This is gonna start World War Three. Wait, World War Four? I don't know. A life without anything good is bad. They said live, laugh, love. Have you ever met someone who didn't smile while eating ice cream or while eating a comforting bowl of Kraft macaroni and cheese? So why not enjoy both at the same time in the same bowl? with the same mouth. <laughs> I've bought this myself and I don't even believe this is real. <laughs> that looks like mac and cheese. That literally looks like cheese. What is it gonna have, pieces of pasta in it? I am so horrified. That literally looks like mac and cheese sauce. It smells like mac and cheese. <laughs> I just got this out of the freezer and it melts really, really quickly. I don't know if it's the cheese. Do you see how it's almost like melted cheese texture? It's a really interesting texture. It almost reminds me of melted cheese. It's not only the smell of melted cheese, it's literally the strangest ice cream texture. Like even the scooping doesn't really go normally. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. So there we go, mac and cheese ice cream. There's no chunks in it, which I think is for the best. I don't even know what to say. It tastes like cheese sauce, but also, I am horrified by the flavor and by myself because it is really nutty, creamy, milky, slippery. This is the strangest texture. I've never had an ice cream that is literally like cheesy. I am so confused. Why does it taste good? Why does it work? I have never been more serious about anything. This. It kind of works. And I've got another one of these in the freezer in case these cost $20,000 in a few years. It definitely tastes like mac and cheese. It definitely tastes like the sauce of mac and cheese and ice cream and it works. It gives fully mac and cheese flavor. You know that mac and cheese artificial powder flavor? It gives exactly that. This is really good. I could sit here and eat the full thing. I need therapy after this. There's no other way out of this video. I need a session as soon as possible. It's an eight out of 10, flavor-wise. How, don't ask me. This is a zebra cake ice cream. They basically transformed these zebra cakes, which I think are like really popular from Little Debbie's, and they transformed it into an ice cream. So I saw this at the supermarket and I was like, I just, I cannot believe this is real, but it is. 
and it is here and it's sealed so we know that no teenager licked it. It's an actual official product so this is made by the same people who make the zebra cakes. I'm expecting some chunks or pieces of zebra cakes. This is kind of genius. This is probably what they do with the leftover of zebra cakes. It smells interesting. This is a little bit soft now because it was sitting here. I'm still gonna try to get a scoop. Ooh. That is way more than a scoop, but there are some chunks, but it's it's more like a caramel sauce than chunks, actually, surprisingly. Actually, I think there might be little pieces of cake in it. Expected. Wow. There are some cake pieces in it. Maybe not. Maybe? I'm not even sure actually. I thought this was just a way to use leftover zebra cakes, but actually I don't even think they're using it. When you look at it, it kind of seems like there's gonna be pieces of cake on it. It's implied in the design that there's gonna be actual zebra cakes pieces in it. Like that's exactly what you'd expect from this product. But in reality, it's a chocolate sauce that does taste like the zebra cakes, but no actual texture. So it's just a vanilla chocolate swirl ice cream. If it wasn't for the branding, I wouldn't have bought this. So I feel like that's kind of all you need to know. I mean, this doesn't even look real. This looks like something that I actually came up with myself. Like this looks like something that I would design. Is Honey Buns like the most popular product from Little Devis? I think it's entirely possible. They are very good. It's definitely my favorite one. It doesn't have any description. It just says that it's inspired by Honey Buns, which is usually not great. That probably means they'll have no chunks because it's inspired. So let's see what's on the inside. Please tell me there's gonna be chunks of honey buns. Like that would be incredible. The icing, little chunks. It's immediately very on the plain side. What is going on here? Why does it look like there's almost chocolate in it or something? Peace. Oh, this one is definitely on the chunky side. Look at that, there's like actual, please tell me that's gonna be pieces of honey bun. That would be incredible. Do you see these darker pieces? There's definitely something here. I just hope that there's texture to it. <laughs> there's like crunchy bits in it that remind me of when you get a corner of a cinnamon bun. I don't know how they have that kind of technology. Wow. This one delivers in flavor, but most importantly, this one delivers in texture. It's not really pieces of honey buns. It's more like chunks of cinnamon buns. It's got these toasty, like tiny little bites that are incredible. And then this cinnamon sugar swirl with the milkiness of the ice cream. This is very, very good. Mine is obviously a little bit melted as well, but this literally tastes Man, this would be so good on a milkshake as well. I was just thinking of drinking this. I might put it in the microwave. That might be what I'm gonna be doing tonight. This one is like a solid eight out of 10. I think they've done a great job at putting the actual honey bun flavor in here. This one is worth every cent. When I saw this at the supermarket, not only I kept my mouth open for like a solid 10 minutes, the first thing that I thought was, what would the French say? Or worse than that, what would the French do if they ever find out? This is a croissant crust di giorno pizza. <laughs> Combines the buttery light flakiness of a croissant with the classic di giorno pizza. <laughs> I'm so sorry French people. I cannot believe this is real. It is, yeah, it's a pepperoni pizza with the crust of a croissant. I am so curious to see what this is going to look like. Is it already risen? Is it gonna rise? <laughs> Why does it smell like a croissant immediately? It smells like yeasty dough. God, this looks so weird, yet I really want to see what this is going to look like once it's cooked. From the front, it's just a pepperoni pizza, right? But then you see it from the side, and it's like all those croissant like layers, almost like puff pastry. Then here, you can just see this is gonna puff up just like a croissant, but it's pizza. In the bottom, it's like wrinkly, like actual, like French pastry, and it smells like pastry. It doesn't smell like pizza at all, just pastry. 
What would the French say? I am going to cook this exactly the same as it says on the package according to the instructions, which is 22 minutes. So in 22 minutes, I'm going to show you either the greatest accomplishment of American cuisine or the beginning of World War Three. So stay tuned. The, oh, this is one of the wildest looking pizzas that I've ever seen. First of all, it is so thick. Like it doesn't look like pizza. It kind of smells amazing. Me and my giant hand are so confused right now. If this is truly like a croissant pizza, the crust has to make a sound, right? <laughs> it is like a croissant. <laughs> it's like flaky. That's like, I've never seen a pizza flake before. It is actually quite a good size for a frozen pizza as well. Now that it's cut, it kind of looks like a normal pizza, but I promise you in real life, this looks like anything but a normal pizza. Okay, I'm gonna go for this slice. Oh, that is a good pizza, I think. Look at the crust. It's like puffed into layers and it's still crispy, but soft It's really, truly weird. When your pizza is literally opening up more than me with my therapist. My only criticism so far is that it doesn't have a lot of cheese, but we'll see. That is, what would the French say? I don't know what the French would say, but I say yes. Wee, wee, wee. Wait, the French don't make pizza. Oh, they make croissant. I get it. Do you see where I bit into it? You can see the layers. Like, what? <laughs> Sometimes these products, it's fully just brand and concept and the actual realization is not good. This is, it tastes like a croissant and pizza and it tastes good. It is truly delicious. I feel like it's fully realized. Look at this. All the layers. I mean, I can barely touch this because it's so hot, but like the bottom one is crispy. The center ones are kind of like soft. There's like a lot of layers to this. It literally tastes like a croissant. This is wild. I know who's getting the Christmas bonus at Di Giorno this year. Whoever came up with this. A 10 out of 10. And I haven't said that, I don't think, in this video yet. The peak of technology in 2022. This is what Apple thinks they're doing whenever they release a new iPhone. This is the cultural impact that Tim Cook thinks he possesses. This is Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Gummies. How is this something that you can actually buy in a store? How is it legal to buy two of them? Because <laughs> I was so sure this is gonna be worth 50,000 in a few years. This one's gonna go in my safe. I hope this video translates well because for me, this is truly shocking. It looks like something that I would have come up with myself. It really does, like something that is the product of a very vivid mental illness simulated imagination. I guess there's more than me out in the world. There's a whole team of us. But it is real. It's gummies and it's shaped like mac and cheese. Does it taste like mac and cheese? I'm not entirely sure. We're going to find out. From the front, I mean, it really does look like actual mac and cheese. Like I was kind of confused when I saw it. That is a bag of mac and cheese. I'm expecting to open this and for it to smell like cheesy sauce. That does not smell like cheesy sauce. So here we go. They look like mac and cheese, but they are gummies. I cannot believe that someone actually gave the green light for this product to exist. I feel like one day I'm gonna throw a mac and cheese themed birthday party. Some three year old in the world out there is doing it as we speak. That's the only scenario where I see this needing to exist in the world. I'm gonna try it. Oh my God, this is so tough. Wait, does it taste like cheese? I'm so confused. Wow, this is giving me like goosebumps. I don't know why. <laughs> It smells like peach, but it tastes like, I don't know if it's the visuals and my brain is like playing tricks on me, but I almost taste like mac and cheese or peach or both. It's not even a great texture for a gummy. Like as far as gummies go, I think there's a lot better. It's very tough and the flavor is truly confusing. It's either peach or cheese or both. It tastes even stranger than it looks. And that's all you need to know about this. It's not even good candy. I think I could still sell this on eBay. I mean, some people sell their underwear. There's an audience for everything. This one alone, it just, it describes the whole video. These are meat sticks. 
Takis Fuego Flavor. Hot chili pepper and lime flavored meat sticks. And it's officially by actual Takis. You know the Takis chips? They got the flavor out of it and infused it into meat. Do you know how insane this sounds? Like, let's get the flavor of this corn chip and put it into a meat stick. <laughs> it has to be because I'm foreign, because I mean, I don't see anyone else at the supermarket losing their mind, running in circles. Is it going to be spicy like a tacky? First of all, the smell, it smells like rotten meat. Like there's this acidic sourness to it, which, you know, it's what tackies taste like. If I smelled this before I ate it, I would never eat it in first place. I already tried this on my previous video, if you saw it, and I surprisingly liked it. I don't know how, but it just, it works. It's like the kind of spice that hits you after, like when you're eating it, you're like, oh, this is not too bad. And then you're reminded of your 13% Swedish genes on Ancestry.com. The heat does catch up with you, but I surprisingly like it. I find it a really soft, pleasant flavor and texture, as long as you don't smell it. That is the only rule. Don't smell these. They smell like baby vomit. I'm as confused as you are. One of the products that was the most shocking to me when I arrived in America, coffee creamers. This is a Twinkies flavored coffee creamer. The irresistible flavor of Twinkies will brighten your coffee one sip at a time. And it's literally got like an actual Twinkie on here. It's like official from the brand who makes the Twinkies. And they're so confident that you're gonna like this product that they say, feel the love or your money back. Limit two refunds per household per year. That makes more sense. We've got a nice coffee and we're just gonna try it. A few weeks ago, I didn't even know what a creamer was. Three weeks later, I am trying a Twinkies flavored creamer. The growth, not personal, just growth. The lid test. Sure does this like a Twinkie. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. So the serving size is one tablespoon, which is extremely small. I do like the, the actual bottle. I find this like, it's really easy to actually pour. That would be like a tablespoon. Let's do two. We're gonna shake this. Wait, shake hack. worked. I'm so confused. It tastes artificial, but I like it. It's like you just bought a sponge cake, like the cheapest sponge cake you can find in the supermarket, mixed with artificial milk flavor. Somehow, it's not terrible. My problem with coffee creamer so far seems to be the fact that they just, the flavor doesn't come through. It's like Hurricane Katrina in there. I don't know why I shouldn't like this. It's artificial chemical, but I like it. And it does taste like a Twinkie, which is exactly what they're trying to do. Seven out of 10, and this is the greatest mystery of all time. It's gluten-free and it's lactose-free. The hell's in this? This is a drumstick coffee creamer. You know, the famous brand of vanilla sundae cone. I think that's what they call it. Yep, they turn that into a coffee creamer and it's a real product. I don't know how different this will taste from the Twinkies one. Probably just changing the package and then giving it different names. So with this one, I'm kind of expecting more of like a, maybe some chocolate in there. It does taste like melted ice cream. Do you know if it's in a good or a bad way? This time around, I'm gonna do a lot from the get-go because it's just one tablespoon. I don't know. They're completely wrong about the serving sizes. It's just not enjoyable. That's, <laughs> that tastes expensive. That is skinny, look at the toes. <laughs> that is incredible. You can taste the cone, you can taste the chocolate, you can taste the tiny little pieces of nuts in it. It is very, very good. You get the full experience without tasting artificial, which is crazy because the other one tasted very artificial. This one is very good. I would give this one a nine out of 10. 
If you can make the Starbucks coffee taste like this, what can you not do? This can probably pay your student loans. This is a Willy Wonka? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory Fudgy Caramel Coffee Creamer. It's one of those where it's like, is this country real? <laughs> Someone was like, we need a Willy Wonka, zero sugar, fudgy caramel coffee creamer, and also we need to hide a golden ticket in it because that's exactly what people are gonna want from this. You know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought about it when I was buying it. Let's see if the golden ticket is here. Play suspense music. It's chocolate. I don't even know where exactly they would hide the golden ticket. If you find a golden ticket sticker on your package of International Delight, you receive a year's supply of creamer. Well, I didn't realize I actually didn't want it. Would the golden ticket be hidden somewhere? This is definitely not real. There's not even a place to put the ticket. So we're gonna add it. Well, this is sitting on top because of the ice. The actual creamer is very white as well. This one is way lighter than the other one. Or maybe I put too much, but... <laughs> that is horrible. What is the golden ticket for? The emergency room? To get my palate cleansed? It tastes like burnt, caramel, artificial. Do you know when sugar-free products taste chemical and it gives you a headache? It's one of those sugar-free products. This is a 0 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie, I am curious about this ticket situation and I'm not gonna be able to go to bed without knowing. I just need to know where would it be. I'm out here undressing this bottle. I give up. This is supposed to be oatmeal. <laughs> this is Lucky Charms oatmeal. And I honestly think they're trying to sell this as a healthy product. It says a good source of seven vitamins and minerals. I've never seen oatmeal like this. This is beyond my levels of creativity. Like even I wouldn't be able to come up with this. This is the inside. This is the oatmeal pouches, and on the back it says the microwave directions, how to microwave it. And it also comes with a topping marshmallow. <laughs> this is a whole new type of oatmeal. So far in my life experiences, I've always perceived oatmeal as something as a healthier breakfast option. No more. So this is the oatmeal. Wait, is it? Is there a flavor to it? I can't tell if it smells like normal oatmeal or not. I guess we'll find out. I think there's like a powder, vanilla flavored oatmeal. So we're gonna add some water to it. And we are going to microwave this for one minute. When you add the water, it comes to life. So this is the cinnamon toast crunch oatmeal. This is the one that I think it would taste nice with oatmeal, the flavor of cinnamon toast crunch. And it comes with the cinnadust topping the actual oatmeal cinnamon flavor and then it also comes with the topping and this is what they call the cinnadust and this is like a trademark product it's the official blend that they use on the cinnamon toast crunch cereal so we're gonna open the oatmeal and we're gonna add it to a bowl no artificial smell at all just like a good smell it's shaping up to be the best oatmeal ever i mean i could be wrong so we're gonna add half a cup of water and then just the one minute in the microwave. They really knew their audience. This is literally the smell of Christmas. If you like Christmas foods, this is gonna be incredible. There's no scenario in which this is not gonna taste beautiful. And we haven't even added the cinnadust topping. Personally, I've never eaten Trix cereal. So this is supposed to be fruity flavored? Fruit flavor, not fruity. Colorful, crunchy topping. Okay, that, you had me at that. So let's see what it tastes like. So this is the oatmeal and this is the topping for it. All this powder is basically all the flavor added to the oatmeal. It's honestly a simple yet new idea to have oatmeal, I guess. I hate the smell of this. It's artificial, it gives Play-Doh. I can only imagine what this is gonna be like once we add the water to it. It's gonna come to life. I don't want it to come to life. Immediately, no. No, rotten vitamin C tablets. <laughs> this is Cocoa Puffs oatmeal. <laughs> look at it, it doesn't even look good. Why is the oatmeal like that? 
weird like mushy brown color and then it's got these pieces that it's called a chocolatey flavored crunchy topping that sounds about the worst thing ever but now we have to carry this until the end i am assuming the oatmeal it's chocolate flavored oh i thought it was gonna be brown immediately but it's actually normal oatmeal colored and then the brown powder it smells good Couple water oh it's very much like instant powder chocolate jello kind of vibes jello chocolate pudding but after one minute in the microwave we will find out in fact we'll find out about all of them i did one minute and it's a little bit mushy so this is the toppings which is basically marshmallows i love a healthy breakfast option <laughs> this is breakfast <laughs> Food from another planet. Mm -mm. I don't like it. <laughs> it is literally making my teeth hurt. Second of all, it's just horrible. It's like fake scented oatmeal. It's the worst texture of oatmeal. It's soft and it is a 300% no from me. Okay, so next up we've got the cinnamon crunch one this one is not as soft it smells a lot nicer so it might be so this is the topping which is a cinnamon dust i didn't even know this was possible i mean <laughs> i was expecting something magical and then i looked at it it's sugar and cinnamon i mean if it tastes good crunchy if I went to your house and you served me this for breakfast, I would probably eat it out of politeness. I wouldn't ask you, where did you buy it? Or I probably would, but I wouldn't mean it. These oats are too instant. Is there such thing as super instant oats? That's what it is. The toppings are sweet, but the actual mixture is just artificial flavor. I don't know. I would still enjoy this. I would give this like a 4 out of 10. Next up, we've got the Trix fruity one. So this is the topping bit. Surprisingly, this one actually holds shape way better. And this is popping candy. <laughs> Who's coming up with this? Someone out there has the job that I should have. And that's what really hurts my feelings about this whole thing. Popping candy. It looks like rainbows and it smells like cayenne pepper. Okay, the texture of the oats is a lot better. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mom, can we get a sausage McMuffin from McDonald's? No, we've got breakfast at home. The breakfast at home. Our last option here, this is the cocoa powder one, which by the way, is it burned in the center? Will we even be able to taste it once this is all mixed into this? I like oats, I just wanna say that for the record. I usually even get the microwave ones that you just put in the microwave for like one minute. The texture is wrong. So this is the topping for the cocoa puffs ones, which is tiny little pieces of cocoa puffs. I mean, I'm gonna be honest guys, crunchy with the softness, I just don't think it works. So it kind of looks like this chocolate flavor PVA glue. The interesting thing here is I actually don't mind the texture of this one. This one is the best texture because it's the crispy bits are covered in like actual chocolate. So it's actually a little bit smooth with the oatmeal. It kind of works and it does taste breakfasty despite the triple chocolate situation. I feel like I'm being kind of harsh on these products, but this is really not it. Like this is back to the drawing board. Actually, fire whoever had the thought. Fire the CEO at this point. The whole chain is corrupted when this has come into existence. This is like a five out of 10. In the butter shelf, like in the butter refrigerated section, I found these parquet squeeze fresh and creamy taste butter oil spread. I don't even know exactly what this is. This is basically a squeezable butter. This is a thing that exists in the world. I invented a lipstick that was made of butter and I thought that was a lot, but someone beat me to it. I just don't understand exactly how you're supposed to apply this. I'm assuming they've got a corn in the front, so it's either you'd apply this on like corn, bread, you know, the usual stuff that you'd apply butter. Wait. <gasps> oh. 
Holy Lucifer himself. What is this? My therapist said I need to keep an open mind, but I think I've reached my limit. My mind's been opened like a spatchcock chicken. In their defense, it looks like butter. It smells like leftover shrimp. My biggest question is how exactly do you use the squeezy butter? Do you like... Oh, maybe you can do designs with it. I... Cannot believe that actually sticks to the bread. <laughs> I hate that like moms would buy this so they could do this before Sunday church. I hate that we all collectively know that this is the audience for this product. Moms single-handedly screaming like a teenage girl at a Billie Eilish concert when they saw me draw a heart with butter. I'm not all about that squeezy, that's way too much. This tastes like shrimp. Why does it taste like lobster? It tastes like lobster. This tastes exactly like seafood. This is like, you just drove by red lobster and you got that whiff. That whiff. I don't know what it is. It's just not good. I'm not even keeping this one in the house. It's an easy, just, no. Wait. <laughs> I'm so stupid. This is a cinnamon toast crunch cookie dough made by Pillsbury. And most importantly, this is safe to eat raw. I want my American audience to know that in any other country that I've lived, I've never been able to buy fresh cookie dough refrigerated. Like you just go home and you shape it into cookies. Like at most, there's like a dry mixture that you add water and eggs and you can make almost an instant cookie. Not this, and especially not a cinnamon toast crunch flavor. This looks like it's going to be very, very good. I've never had a cinnamon toast crunch cookie. When I saw this, I was like, not only it's perfect for the video, but I physically need this in my stomach now. I've never even bought like a refrigerated cookie dough ever before so this is so interesting to me so it comes in a little tray wait does it come shaped already i mean what else are they gonna come and feed me <laughs> wait it comes basically shaped it doesn't look like it on camera but do you see how there's like the outlines for it what else do we have to do anything here are they gonna chew it for me spit it out into a cup and then i can drink it so that it's not too hard on my jaw it smells like Bath and Body Works. This is truly fascinating to me that this exists in the world. This is so cool. A cookie that's already made. It's already shaped. You don't even have to do anything. All the times that I have to make cookies for like food hacks and things like that in my videos, my life is about to get so much easier. I'm grateful. Thank you. Jesus, guardian angels, spirit guides. Okay, so I've got a baking tray. I don't know how big this is gonna get, so I'm gonna play it safe. Like, it almost makes me feel sad that the dough doesn't need me to like roll it out and like shape it into cookies. Like, isn't that a little bit sad? I don't have a cookie sheet, so I have to make it in a tray. We're working with what we've got, which we're gonna be doing for a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna make four, because I don't think I can fit more in here. It honestly makes me sad that the cookie dough doesn't need any shaping. It's like a therapist going to therapy. Hopefully they're not gonna stick to the sides. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, these smell incredible. Wait, we can eat them raw? That is very delicious. Truly incredible. I don't know what that is. It's like um, a cinnamon fudge pieces. I have no idea how this is going to translate into the baked cookie, but we will soon find out. So we're making only four cookies because I literally can't fit any more in here. You don't want this to become one. These bake for 16 to 20 minutes at 350. So I just got the cinnamon toast crunch cookies out of the oven and the recipe said to cook this from 16 to 20 minutes. I cooked them for 14 minutes. Am I crazy for thinking these look over cooked? Especially you can see from the back, like that should not be that dark in the bottom. I'm a little bit disappointed. This is not what I was expecting from the box. I wanted them to be like thicker, crunchy around the edges, but still soft in the center. This is crunchy around the center and burnt around the edges. They still look good. And especially if you like a thin, crispy cookie, it just really wasn't what I was expecting. They're still warm, so they're gonna get even crunchier. Let's see if it snaps. 
It's way too crunchy for me, I think. No. It's basically like cereal. I've just made cinnamon toast crunch. This is not for me. Wait, this one is a little bit thicker. I found that they were very uneven. Okay, this one is way softer, look. Well, a little bit softer. This one is good. It's perfect in the center. It's slightly too crispy around the edges. I do like this a lot. Forget about the crunchy ones, they're really not good, but the only one that came out perfectly, it came out really good. You'd think this tastes very artificial, but actually, this tastes very similar to homemade cookies that I always make on Christmas. Nobody would be able to tell the difference between these and the ones I usually make. If I judge it by the one that was perfectly cooked, that was still soft in the center, I would say this is a 9 out of 10, because the flavor is very, very good. It tastes like your grandma-style cookies. Next time, I'm gonna cook them for like, no, even 10 minutes. You might have seen this in one of my recent videos, but these are Reese's peanut butter cups with potato chips in it. Milk, chocolate, and peanut butter stuffed with potato chips. This is a real product. This is not something that was created by me hoping to horrify people. Reese's sat down and said, Let's put the potato chip in. Like even the design, it's like they're not shy about the potato chip. They are proud of the potato chip, I would go as far as saying. I've seen an advert for this on TV, and I honestly thought this would be a lot more difficult to find, but I actually found it at Target, I think. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but I've already tried one of these one time only, I think. If you're curious about what they look like, it kind of um, just looks like regular Reese's on the inside. It looks like one of the big Reese's peanut butter cups. Even if you remove the side, like the smell of it, it's just completely normal ones. Like it doesn't look like there's anything special about it. Now, once you bite into it, there is something special about it. Spoiler alert. So this is kind of what it looks like on the outside. Wow. I've had them before. But this one is loaded with potato chips. Do you see that? You can hear it. It's good. I really enjoyed this one. This was very crunchy. I wish it was even saltier. I don't know if the potato chips are just unsalted. I think they are because it's not very salty. It really doesn't get you. The texture of this one is honestly perfect. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's so many bits of potato chip. It honestly almost tastes like pretzel. It's almost like pretzel, peanut butter, chocolate, which obviously goes incredible together. So I'm not surprised. My only criticism would be make it more potato chippy. Like it's, it could be boosted a little bit extra. I really like this. This is truly incredible. Popcorn. This is cinnamon toast crunch popcorn. Snackable, poppable, unstoppable. Crunchy, cinna dust glaze is sure to keep you coming back for more and more. This is popcorn covered in the seasoning of cinnamon toast crunch. That might sound familiar to some of you guys, because, and roll the clip, almost two years ago, I have invented this product before it existed. I said this needs to be a thing that exists in the world, and I made it, and I put it in a little, almost like a Pringles can, if I remember correctly, but the concept was basically the same. It was the seasoning of cinnamon toast crunch on top of popcorn. So, right now, and this one has the new label, so you know this is very recent, they have created a cinnamon toast crunch popcorn. That is basically exactly what I've done. And honestly, even the design, it's kind of similar. Cinnamon toast crunch, I'm gonna see you in court. I have proof, I have timestamps, I have free time. This is why that series was a bad idea, because I didn't realize what I was actually doing. <laughs> I was giving ideas for free, I was designing them for free, and I was giving you guys' opinion on the products for free. A true CEO of giving people free things. Why does this smell like roast chicken? Wait, this doesn't even look as good as the ones I made. The ones I made had so many pieces of brown sugar, cinnamon. It's very much like regular popcorn. Slightly glazed, a little hint. Someone whispered cinnamon next to it. Someone went with a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I mean, they are very good. They're very plain. 
but somehow I think that works best in this being too heavy and too crunchy, very caramely. Like this is way more addictive. Like you'd want to eat this over and over again. I actually really like these. I do think the ones I made, the product that I came up with, tasted a lot more like cinnamon toast crunch than this. I added like vanilla flavoring, vanilla bean flavoring, brown sugar, cinnamon. It wasn't a glaze, it was more like a, a dusting on it. It was better. Sour Patch Kids <laughs> popcorn. This is popcorn coated in Sour Patch Kids. I don't know what to expect in terms of... Why does this smell? It smells weird. But wait, why does it look like regular popcorn? There's some pieces of like candy on it, but it's barely. It's like plain popcorn that's been barely touched. It's just plain popcorn. This one has like two little blue bits of like Sour Patch Kids. That is evil. It tastes evil. It's like an ice blast, like a blue raspberry ice slushy in a popcorn. I'm so confused. It's kind of good. <laughs> it gets your brain going, like you're like, it's sour, it's sweet, I hate it, but I love it. I really hate it, but I really want more of it. It's like clicking one of my videos. It's like, you want it to stop, but like, can you really? I think I would give this an eight out of 10. And I know it doesn't make any sense because this is the most ridiculous product in the world. Like, there's literally a Sour Patch Kid smiling at me, waving in the middle of popcorn. I think it's because the concept that they had they were able to carry it all the way to the finished product and I think I value that a lot regardless of like taste. I honestly couldn't have done a better job. They really put the Sour Patch Kids in popcorn. Do try it. I'm not lying to you. This tastes very very similar to Sour Patch Kids. It's truly bizarre. A cereal in America is a fever dream. This is Wendy's Frosty cereal? And once you buy the cereal, you get a free Frosty with this QR code. Well, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna give it to one of you guys. There you go. The first one will get it for free. They basically transformed a Wendy's Frosty, which is an item of fast food, like a dessert, a chocolate one, into cereal. This truly seems fake because I've never thought of any fast food item being so popular that you could transform it into a product. But here we are. I mean... It literally looks like regular, uh, like, Cocoa Puffs with some marshmallows added to it. It's very underwhelming. It does smell like a Frosty. It almost smells like ice cream. It does not smell like cereal or Cocoa Puffs, but they got the smell right. I No words. These kind of products would have come really handy when I was making my 24-hour food series many years ago because I could have just went and purchased this myself. This is Minecraft the cereal. Is it even square? Is it green? I'm colorblind. I think it's green. This is like the night monster. I don't know. I actually really like the colors of it. I see it as gray. <laughs> I love it. A rainbow. It smells so good that I literally... Oh, that is not so good. It tastes healthy. I mean, I know Minecraft is a survival game, but this is taking it too far. This is hamster food. It smells so good, and it tastes like hamster food. I got this one because if I had to pick five personality traits of mine, it would be overly enthusiastic, and Pokemon is one of them. I'm that kind of person. They truly make cereals for any demographic. It's a berry flavored uh, breakfast cereal, which I don't even necessarily associate berry flavor with Pokemon. They use all the grass type Pokemons, which that kind of makes sense then. So turns out I'm not mad, but then why is it called Berry Bolt? And why is Pikachu in the front? It's very confusing. Tell me you're a nerd without telling me you're a nerd. Oh, I don't know about the smell of this. I'm not sure, it just tastes like sugar. We have to get to the bottom of this. We're gonna try all three types of cereal and find out. I've got five liters of milk. It's lactate. Isn't that what pregnant ladies do? 
This is so confusing. America is a mystery as a country. I don't know what's appropriate or inappropriate here. They have lactating milk. It was a cheaper one, I guess that makes sense. I put the milk first because only a sociopath, a psychopath, whatever is the non-offensive one to you, only someone who's crazy would put the cereal first. The milk always goes first. It is my golden rule of life. So this is the Wendy's cereal. This is the Minecraft cereal. And this is the Pokemon one. Wendy's cereal. It's good. It's like a 4 out of 10. It's all branding, I'm not gonna lie. There is something in here. I think it's the marshmallow pieces. They remind me of something like a dessert from a fast food place. But it is a little bit disappointing. This is the Minecraft one. I swear I'm not gonna repeat the same joke from the previous video. I like this a lot. It's not very sweet, which is very unexpected from a Minecraft cereal. It almost tastes like a healthy cereal, but then with the pieces of marshmallow, it just, something is created here where it's a really good balance. I really like this cereal. It's no square. They literally had one job. Why is it kind of round with tiny holes in the center? This doesn't make any sense to me, but this is really good. I would give this an eight out of 10. This is the one that I personally chose for me, the Pokemon one. Oh, please don't disappoint. Why does it taste like my childhood? It's definitely not my favorite one and I definitely didn't grow up with this kind of flavoring cereal, like the wildest thing I had growing up was probably Golden Grams. This is very good as well. I like the flavor of it and I usually I don't like fruity flavors. I'm gonna say this is like a, it's like a six out of 10. I really like the Minecraft one. I don't know what they've done here, but I'm gonna be digging away this bowl through the night. I'm gonna dig until I find metal. This is something that is a completely new category for me. This is not even jello. What even is this? Whatever it is, it looks promising. This is Kool-Aid jelly? I don't even know what to call this. It's like a jelly jello artificial flavored gel snack. That sounds even worse than whatever I named it. <laughs> so this is strawberry and kiwi, which by the way, strawberry and kiwi is not even the standard flavor for Kool-Aid, so I'm interested. I think this is gonna be all branding. I just want to say, we do have some of these, uh, like, jellos in little pots in Europe, but they're usually sugar-free, and they're very basic, like raspberry, strawberry, it's usually, like, a healthy snack. This doesn't exist. It's a matter of time until Cinnamon Toast Crunch makes a jello. I mean, what what else? And now that I've said it, they're gonna make it. Oh, wait, why is it so liquidy? This literally tastes like nothing. <laughs> it is strangely refreshing, and I don't like Jello a whole lot, so you had my attention. This is Sour Patch Kids fruit gels, whatever this is, Jello pots. I mean, made with real sugar, gluten free. I love how everything is advertised as gluten free these days, even when it's beyond. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You'll be buying a lettuce and it'll be saying gluten-free. So, ooh, these are like radioactive blue. Does it break? Is it gonna break? Immediately no. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna hate this one. This one's gonna go straight to my neighbor's kids. It's just not for me. I might use as a dish soap. Hmm. Turns out there is a use for everything. There might just be a chance that I just personally don't like these Jello products. I don't love Jello stuff, so that is the most likely scenario. I nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for it. I think I have this idea written down somewhere. Why does it say on the ingredients less than two percent of carrageenan? Isn't that when things give you cancer? They're all 
the, basically the same packaging. They're literally made in the same factory. They're probably even the same flavor. They just changed the branding. And obviously an idiot like me was gonna fall into it, so. I used to have a hate relationship with orange flavored stuff. But you know, as I've matured, I've been trying to like keep my mind open. And sometimes they can. This one is the worst consistency of all of them. It smells good. This one is not bad. I would go as far as saying this one is good. I can see this tasting really good with like some cream or something in here. That would be nice. This is the only good one. What's that saying? Two wrongs don't make a right. What about three? Let's find out. <laughs> I'm gonna do one scoop of each and pause the video and guess which color this is gonna turn once I mix all of them together. Someone will get this. This is where we're at now. I'm gonna mix it. Oh. It kind of didn't go any specific color, it actually just stayed. Oh, it's kind of green, I think. Let's see what it tastes like all together. <laughs> this is so bad. This is really bad. The Fanta one, I can taste it and it's like, oh, that's not too bad. But then something else in here is just rotten. So that was fun. As you can see, these were some of the products that honestly, I cannot believe that I didn't come up with these. And even more honestly, I cannot believe that I can walk into Walmart and buy any of these products and that there's people out here that actually buy it. I think my time in this country is going to be very interesting. I hope you liked it. I've been having a lot of fun sharing more of my life and my everyday purchases, but also, you know, the supermarket video when we went to the restaurant. I have been enjoying doing this, so if you're enjoying that, give the video a like to let me know that you're enjoying it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and I'm gonna carry on making them. So, I love you guys. I have no idea what's coming next, but I'm sure that it's going to be as weird. I love you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.